Hey there guys and gals and wonderful YouTubers, welcome back guys. And today we are looking at Pure Chest. Uh, recently got released finally on PC, Steam, uh, just within the last week here. And I believe it's been on console for a while, um, Xbox and uh, PlayStation. But uh, within the last week it just got released on PC and uh, released on Steam. So we're actually going to take a look at this today. Uh, this video here is not going to be uh, probably any gameplay. It's just going to take a look at the uh, game itself and look at some of the menus and stuff like that, the different chess boards. And uh, if you guys want to see some gameplay, stay tuned to the next episode, which we'll actually get into some chess playing. So, yeah, I want to thank Ripstone for uh, giving me a copy of this game to actually try it out. So, uh, appreciate it, guys, out there at Ripstone. So, we're actually going to jump in here, like I said, and take a look at uh, chest here. Been actually wanting to add uh, chest to my channel for a long time. But kind of was waiting around for a good program that came out was just basic chess. And uh, this seems to be what we're looking for here. It's not analysis kind of chess. It's just uh, us playing chess here. So, yeah, when you start in here, there's many options here. It looks like play local. I guess this is you can play against AI. So you can create different accounts. I have some here. Let's actually delete this one here. Uh... Uh, we can have selection in one play. Uh, you can either do white or black or random. Difficulty looks like from monkey all the way. Let's see if we can scroll over. Grand to grandmaster. Wow, okay. Game timer. This is usually none. I set it up to have uh, 15 minutes and plus 5 seconds uh, per move. Opponent, I guess you can do, well, you can do human. I don't know how that would work. Probably jump, get out of your seat and have somebody sit down. Or you can play against the computer, which most likely you will do. Undo moves, no or yes. Probably set that no. Legal move highlights, that'll show you the, the moves that each piece can do on that, on your turn. Uh, it's for like if you're a new player, I guess. You don't know the moves. Just leave those on. So there's actually quite a few uh, chests that are already coming handy on this game. This game is also available, I know for sure, because I have uh, iPhone. I saw it on the iOS. And it's available on uh, mobile phone, probably iPad also. So yeah, you can check it out there too. And I believe... Um, over there you don't get all the chess sets and over there you actually can play it for free and uh, the only thing you purchase over there is a different chess sets and chess boards so yeah there's quite a few here there's a standard Stanton checkered it's kind of like your 2d Williams got a nice Roman looking here park animals Italian Halloween theme that looks actually pretty cool. I really like this one Isle of Lewis. This is um, some 12th century uh, medieval um, chess set uh, Which they found I believe in Scotland and This is probably one of the earliest chess pieces known to man and I really like these I might actually play that and then we got the Easter Isle Looking guys here, and then you got random here so we'll back out. We'll come back in here and take a look at a couple of these here. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back out. We got play online with this. You actually need to create an account here, uh, username, password, and then I already created one. Just create a. I guess go into empty slot. Looks like challenge by name. You can find a buddy, I guess, or email. I don't know how this works. I believe it's kind of like. Um, correspondence chess I think you move back and forth I don't know I, I assume I don't know if that's correct don't quote me on that you probably play live back and forth so you can challenge your friend like in your steam friends here uh, recent opponents and auto challenge so yeah we'll have to check that out later I assume you guys can probably play live um, his ratings here and their settings we'll check those out here 
Uh, there's your profile. I guess that gives you uh, you can have replays. Uh, the save your replays after a game is over. Um, give you an option to actually save it, which is probably recommended, so you can analyze analyze your uh, uh, game there. You got some stats, achievements. So I don't think there's anything here. Options like game options, music, and audio, basically in credits. Uh, chess challenges. That's pretty interesting. They have this in here. Uh, they're just little uh, puzzles like mate in one, mate in two, and there's different ones here. Like if we can go in here. Uh, we just gotta figure out it's basically white to move and we gotta figure out how to mate the uh, oh my goodness <laughs> I don't like these pieces I believe I don't know what piece that is I believe that might be a rook but it's white to move and we gotta basically check me I believe that's a rook so we'll go there and that'll complete the uh, puzzle they're really good at strengthening your mind to actually see uh, meat moves. So it's good to recommend to actually do puzzles. It'll actually help you out see th things you don't normally see. And there's mate in two, mate in five. I guess there's some sort of tournament. And then you got to learn to play if you guys don't know how to play or if you're going a little bit more advanced. I think there's a little bit more down here. Uh, about drawings, uh, value pieces, en passant, there's end game openings, what not to do. So yeah, there's actually some pretty good stuff in here. And uh, yeah, I guess we have, when we have some time, oh yeah, we actually need to look at the chess boards. That's the one we need to look at. So we'll jump in some of these different ones here. That's where... I like to enjoy looking at. So we'll look at the Stantons. We won't go into each um, each one of these offer. We'll just pick one uh, because each one of these have different selections like wood and metal and plastic. We'll just pick one from each one of these and take a look at it. So we'll get Stanton. We'll actually go with the wood. That's our classic. And we'll actually go with library and take a look at it so yeah this, man this is a really good 3d looking chest and it's basically what it is it's just chest there's not much to it and I believe if you right click normally your screens gonna look like this you're gonna have your side and you're gonna have the opponent side capture pieces the different moves the times uh, your name and your rating. You can actually turn these down or turn them off by right clicking in any one of these slots here. So we took pieces off and it just toggles. You go through it, you took out the uh, move list, and then finally it'll go all the way out and you can just see the board by itself and it makes you feel like you're actually playing in real life, I guess. So yeah, it's really nice looking almost looks like real life I guess we will turn some of these off and in this camera mode here I'll toggle through different um, cameras you have your it's basically the piece you're gonna move and then right click move around mouse will zoom in out and you get to see everything looks pretty nice that's probably so you can get a closer look at the board just to make sure you didn't overlook something and then you can always look over here overhead view and see if you definitely didn't miss anything because sometimes playing like this in real life you do kind of miss some things you overlook some stuff so yeah that's the Stanton let's go ahead and save and quit I guess Play local. We'll delete that. Go on through here, and we'll check out the checkers. We'll go with the wood again. Um, 
Let's go with the penthouse. We'll check out different boards. Each one of them, the different locations will have different backgrounds, but also different boards too. So yeah, look at the board here. It's a really nice looking board. And I really like this uh, set here too. You don't get too confused with the pieces at that much. You'll actually know what they are. And um, if you're used to the typical uh, 2D standard plane style where it's kind of like um, basically this view down here, this is probably the board for you. Because um, like if you're used to playing um, LA chess site or apps on your phone or um, chess master or like Fritz chess, everything's laid out in 2D. Um, most of the time I don't play, I don't, if I play chess master or Fritz, I don't use the 3D boards. I usually just use the 2D boards. But if you're used to that layout, definitely like this would be really nice for you guys. So... It's a really cool looking board though too. Really nice. I love the reflections on here. Pretty nice. Everything looks pretty smooth too. Yeah, and it shows you the moves. So let's go ahead and check out the other boards here. Uh, play local. We'll go ahead and go over here and we'll check this one out this one's actually pretty good this is another wooden set you can do marble or metal uh, let's check out the marble we've been looking at the um, wood we'll go to the museum and see what that background is oh that's a nice bottom here I believe the bottoms are uh, per um, background they might change I mean don't uh, quote me on this I'm new to this so there probably is these might change these uh, boards but uh, definitely check them out yourself this is just in kind of an overview of the different boards if you guys are interested in, in the game and uh, want to see the different board types so yeah these are pretty nice looking too not bad I would say this is one of the best uh, 3D looking um, uh, chest sets and chest game out there. Alright, let's go ahead and delete you. Delete you. We still got a few more sets to look at. This one's nice. I really love the Romans. Let's go with the metal. There's also marble. Just go ahead and check this one out. I really like this one. This one has a completely different background. It's theme, ba theme based, I guess, for this set. So it's got Roman numerals on the uh, bottom, or actually the side, sorry, letters on the bottom. But man, these guys look pretty awesome here. Looks like we got like a bronze for the uh, dark side and silver for the light. Yeah, look at that. That looks really nice. Look at the background. Wow, this is actually a really nice set. Oh, there's a head there. So, yeah, there's definitely some battle going on in this chest set here. This is pretty cool. I really like this one. But a lot of people tend to play like um, the Stantons or the typical uh, wooden... Um, carved one with the uh, knights being the horses because they're a little bit easier to make out than these sometimes you have to play these quite a few times to get used to the pieces so I mean, if you start playing the first time you're gonna be confused by those and not know what the difference between which one's the rook and which one's the knight I guess so yeah these are pretty cool let's go ahead and delete you um, Okay, we still got what one two three we've got quite a few more to go like I said this is just showing these metal let's check out stone yeah just showing the sets here this one's nice too you're actually like out of park now I wish you can actually play this one without these pieces I wish you can play this one with like the regular 
um, chess pieces because I really like this background here a lot and uh, I really wish you can do the um, yeah see this is like a park I wish you can do different pieces that would be really nice but yeah if you like into the pets and the animals I guess this is for you oh uh, wow it's really hard yeah there's the king queen bishop <laughs> the knights to dark I guess yeah, it'll take some getting used to these kind of pieces. Uh, save and quit. Let's go ahead and jump in there, I guess. And this one, Italian. Don't know much about that. It's metal, plastic. Let's go with metal. Uh, let's go back to the library. Yeah, these are very abstract pieces. Let's take a closer look. So the pawns are these guys here. Kind of futuristic looking. Something you would see like playing on Star Trek on on Bajor or something, Deep Space Nine or something. Bajoran chess set. <laughs> yeah. That's a Star Trek reference. But yeah, um, yeah, these aren't too bad here. I like these. These aren't too bad. Not my favorite. But I'm sure each is their own. Somebody will love that one. Let's go ahead. We should have like two more sets, guys. Actually, three more. Sorry, guys. Halloween theme. Um, they didn't give us options, it's like metal and metal. So let's see if that's actually marble, the museum. And yeah, it is. So we have the marble chess set. So you got the pawns, they look like little pumpkin heads. Let's get down and close here. Uh, let's turn this off. Looks like the rooks or um, little hands coming out of the grave. Knights, don't know what they are. Maybe some raven or something, or some weird creature. The bishops, looks like some sort of zombies. And a king, I believe that's the king of some sort of skull. Oh yeah, and the queen's a witch. Oh, that's pretty interesting, I like that. Huh, that's pretty cool. That was pretty nice. Be something cool to play on Halloween. Okay, let's go ahead and delete you. Delete you. So yeah, we're almost done here, guys. So like I said, this is more of an intro. This is just to look at the game itself, what's in the game. I'm sure a lot of people want to see quite a few stuff in here. Isle of Lewis. I really like this one a lot. This one's got another custom theme for this chess set, just like the uh, Romans were. I really like this one. I really want to play with this chess set here. Makes you feel like playing in the medieval era chess back then. Really nice. Looks like it got Celtic knots on the, uh, I guess, I don't know, Celtic. Yeah, I guess they found these pieces in Scotland, so yeah. Pawns. Pawns are just pretty plain looking. I really love the knights. Rooks are pretty cool too. Bishops, you definitely know which ones the bishops are. So yeah, this is pretty awesome. I like this one. I believe this is what they based the Stantons off of this chess set here. Um, because different um, countries a long time ago had different uh, styles like India had a different completely different style and um, did China yeah I think China had their own and the last one we are going to look at is Easter Isle Easter Easter Island yes Easter Island We'll go random. And this one, this one's not too bad. Uh, some of the pieces can look alike. 
Um, but I noticed if, let's actually zoom in down here, behind them, if you do get confused, right embedded on them is the peace type. So that's definitely the queen, king, the bishop. Uh, I don't think that one's got a knight symbol. Yeah, it does right there. And then your rook. So if you are confused, you can always refer to that. But if you look up front, they can be a little confusing here. I guess you got to go by, by size wise. The rook looks definitely bulky. The knight, I guess, is just kind of normal looking. And then your bishop is slender. It looks like he's got a cap here on. So, yeah, pretty nice set though. But man, they look pretty detailed though. Pretty detailed. Oh, they do have offer draw. Okay, I was wondering about that. So that's a look at everything, guys, here. So we're actually going to jump into a game in the uh, next recording. So stick around, guys, and uh, we'll jump in actual game and see the, some gameplay, guys. So yeah, guys. If you definitely like this, I'll put the link, to, well obviously the link's going to be down below in the description where you can get this from, it's obviously on Steam. And uh, yeah, go check it out if it seems like something you're interested in. And if you guys definitely like this video, definitely hit the like button and definitely subscribe. Um, so alrighty guys, we'll definitely see you next time guys. Bye bye out there and take care.